let's get started with the introduction of SAS. What does SAS stands for? SAS stands for Statistical Analysis System. SAS is a software developed by SAS Institute for Data Management, Advanced Analytics, Business Intelligence and Predictive Analytics. At the core of the SAS system is Base SAS software. This section presents an overview of Base SAS, capabilities of Base SAS, addresses the methods of running SAS and outlines various types of output. Please make a note that we shall use the Base SAS version 9.2 throughout the course. SAS Foundation is a flexible and integrated software environment that can be used to access, manipulate, manage, store, analyze and report on data. The SAS features include data entry, retrieval and data management, report writing and graphics design, statistical and mathematical analysis, business forecasting and decision support. Also operations research and project management and lastly applications development. Now let us understand which are the different industries which uses SAS in today's world. Currently following are some of the industries which I have mentioned but there are many more where the SAS is being used. Some of the industries are IT management, financial management, business intelligence, customer relation management, pharmaceutical sector, KPO and BPO sector, human resource management and many more. Now let's move on to how to run a SAS program. You can invoke SAS in the interactive mode in one of the following two ways. One is the windowing environment, second is the enterprise guide. Let us understand the difference between both of them. Windowing environment is used primarily by SAS programmers. In the windowing environment, a SAS programmer would write down the code line by line and execute it. So the windowing environment is best suited for a technical person. Enterprise guide is specially designed by SAS for the people who do not come from the technical background. Enterprise Guide is a point and click application wherein the same kind of result is obtained by a person who is not having any technical background. For example, there is a SaaS developer who writes a piece of code in windowing environment to generate a particular report. Now the same report can be generated by a manager in an organization who does not have any knowledge about SAS programming can use this point and click application which is enterprise guide and generate the same report for himself. This is the first look of SAS windowing environment. As the, the moment you open SAS program, this is the very first window you would be able to see. We shall talk about the interface in detail little later. This is the SAS Enterprise Guide interface. Now there are three primary windows in SAS. You can invoke a SAS program in the interactive mode in the following ways. Editor window, log window and output window. Editor window is the window which is going to be used by a SAS developer to write the SAS code. Log window is the very first window you should see after you execute your SAS program. Whether it was a successful or unsuccessful execution, that status you would be able to see in log window. When you execute a SAS program, if it was a successful execution, output window will display you the output of the SAS program. Now let's move on to the introduction to SAS program. A SAS program is a sequence of steps 
that the user submits for execution. Any SAS program state starts with data step or a proc step. Now data steps are typically used to create SAS datasets and proc steps are typically used to process the SAS datasets. A SAS step begins with one of the following a data statement or a proc statement and a SAS step ends with one of the following a run statement a quit statement or the beginning of another step which could be either a data statement or a proc statement this is a typical SAS program now understand here there are three SAS steps one is a data step second is a proc step and the third is a third is again a proc step the data step has started with the word data and it has ended with the keyword run the third step started with the keyword proc step and ended with the keyword run but if you see the second one it is just only started with the proc step it there is no run statement there since the next statement after the proc step is again a proc step SAS automatically understands the end of the second step by itself so it is very important for you to note that if you do not mention a run statement the next ten, the next sentence in your SAS program should be a data step or a proc step